I can't get myself to press in right now. Hello? Hey, man. Yo, Ethan, what is up? I can't believe I'm filming this. Honestly, I can. For two reasons, actually. Because if you guys saw in last week's video, Ethan made me feel pretty much as awkward as I've ever felt in my life by surprising me with my least favorite TikToker. I think we gotta settle this beef, dude. That's not even a surprise, it's like a, that's like an ambush. <laughs> Sorry, I said ambush and then I was like, oh, that's just, I just got really excited to do that to him. So if you guys don't remember from a few videos ago, Ethan just openly said that he was in a relationship. Yep. He put it out there and I didn't even think he was going to, but he did, so. This kind of gives me right away to do this, I, th I think. And the second reason, he doesn't fucking answer me when I'm talking to his face. Ethan! Ethan! He's on FaceTime all night with, as you could assume, his significant other, who I love like a sister, uh, honestly. I've known his girlfriend for about four years now and we've become really good friends over the time. They haven't been dating that whole time, they've been dating for about a year, like we're all famo, if you know what I mean. So I'm not like too tight, but just the fact that he won't answer me when I'm speaking to him. Ethan, hey E, E, Ethan. This f***ing AirPods, they have an E on them too. So I have this idea and it sounds crazy and it, it honestly is crazy. I'm actually gonna do this. I'm actually gonna set him up and ambush him with a paparazzi and ex expose his relationship. Now that's not petty for <laughs> what happened last week. I don't know what is. Like if you thought I was awkward in the last video, well, I mean, I was really, it, it, that was very awkward for me. I was awkward. Um, wait until you see Ethan when I do what I'm about to do. Sorry if that was a bad angle. How the f so now some of you guys watching, well, probably like a good amount of you guys watching since you clicked on this video and it has to do with relationships, would know who this person is. Mr. Hollywood Fix. Now, I don't know what Mr. Fix's real name is. It could be Hollywood. And I don't know what his last name is, but let's just call him Mr. Fix. Is one of the most infamous paparazzis in Los Angeles, California. I mean, in the world, probably. Um, he's gotten all sorts of people, Justin Bieber, every YouTuber that I can think of. Oh, he's gotten Ethan before once, but he hasn't gotten me. Why do you, why do you not get me? Does no one give a fuck? Damn, man, maybe no one. Yeah, but that's besides the fact. So I DM'd Mr. Fix. I said, hey, I have an idea. Now, I don't know who runs the account. I was hoping it was Mr. Fix, and it seems that it is. He said, yo, Grayson, what's good, bro? If I'm not on here, hit me at, and he sent me his number. Honestly, I'm pretty uncomfortable to text this paparazzi because he's a paparazzi, and he, his job is to expose people like myself, so I don't know if I should... I should text him. But Loki, it's worth the risk for what I'm about to do to Ethan. I said, <laughs> this is this is actually crazy. I said, okay, we'll do sunglass emoji, trying to keep it cool. Just gotta keep this a secret. Oh my God, I'm exposing Ethan's like most private thing. And okay, don't think I'm like a bad person. He, and I got a response that said, oh, for sure, bro. I never say anything to anyone about what I'm working on. I know his voice though. I think everyone knows his voice. Pretty good, man, pretty like, good. Like, you know that? That boys, you just know who it is. Like, do I do I text a paparazzi? All right, fuck it. I'll just change my number if I have to. Dude, I don't even know what his name is. Let's put it in Mr. Fix Hollywood. Uh... Oh, if you guys are wondering, Ethan's in his shower right now, and he takes like two hour long showers, so I'm fine for like the next 45 minutes. John. You're still in the shower? Yeah, it's finishing my legs. I know what I'm doing. Hey man, this is Grayson. I'm currently working on. I can't believe I'm about to type this to a paparazzi. A video where I expose my brother's relationship. Uh, I just I just started sweating a little bit. I can't get myself to press send right now. Oh God! They delivered. <laughs> All right. Well, once he answers, I'll start filming again because then I'm going to give him a bunch of private information about Ethan's relationship so that he can ask Ethan questions to make him feel really uncomfortable. Uh, yes, he just responded. <laughs> oh God. Okay, he said, oh, well, yes, that's awesome. And he said, just let me know when and where. I feel like I'm doing business with the right guy right now. Where could I get him? Maybe, uh, how busy are paparazzi? Like, what, what is his day to day? Does he wake up and he's just like, okay, I gotta go find people? Can I just say like tomorrow? This is gonna be some fucking Hollywood tea. <laughs> Dude, relationships, why does the world love relationships, you know? I honestly feel like, I feel like they're overrated, but it could just be because I, uh, I've been struggling to. Struggling to get one myself for a while. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Shit, I'm fucking nervous. Um, okay, 
Okay, so to update you guys, I texted Mr. Fix and I asked if he had time to jump on the phone to talk, just to talk things through and let him know what he's gonna be doing because nobody knows about Ethan's relationship, really. Only I do. And I have to tell him about it so that he can ask Ethan these personal questions. So now I'm gonna call Mr. Fix because he just said, hey, I can talk now. I'm walking a fine line right here with my trust because I don't know what the f I can tell this guy. <laughs> Shit. Okay, f Okay, um. Hey man. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing excellent, man. I'm just I was out here running around working. Oh, I appreciate it. Are you are you out all day just doing your thing? Is that that's how it goes? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. A lot of the time during the day I'm looking for people. You know what I mean? And then All right, what's word, going yeah, I appreciate it. All right, man. Yeah. So, uh, today we posted a video where he uh, he set me up for a really awkward encounter with my least favorite TikToker. Okay. I was thinking and I was brainstorming. I was figuring out a way that I can make him feel even more awkward because I need to get him back. He has been in a relationship now for almost a year and nobody knows about it. Okay. Uh, so I thought I would let you in on some information that nobody else knows pretty much besides me his brother We can kind of ambush him well you, you can with your camera and then yeah. ask him a bunch of questions that Nobody else in the world would know to ask. Okay. Well, that is gonna be big. That is huge So I'm gonna I'm gonna write up a list of the questions that I'll have you ask him And he's gonna be kind of puzzled as to how you know about them, which I think will be hilarious <laughs> All right, so Ethan just ate a bunch of ice cream and he went outside to sit in his Tesla because he put the heater on, which gave me the perfect time to type up these <laughs> juicy questions. So, dot, 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 who is she? <laughs> All right, now I wanna get more into things that he's not supposed to know. So there's a photo out there, Ethan's hand is involved. So I'm gonna have a question about that. Is that your hand squishing her cheeks, face cheeks. She's like my sister. Okay, that sounds. Oh <laughs> God, I can't even. I was talking about. You know what I meant. I think this is where it's gonna get even more uncomfortable for you. How is long distance thing going? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, let me look up their one year date, and I'm gonna have him ask if he's doing anything special on the date. Ah! Are you doing anything special for October 11th? <laughs> All right, let me, I gotta double check there one year, one sec. I don't even know what time it is by her right now. She's gonna be like, why? Ah, okay, that was a day off. All right, good thing I checked. Ethan and his girl met four, about almost four and a half years ago and he had a crush right away, but he was too nervous to say anything, and I was always on his case about it. Uh, <laughs> so I wanna have a question here about that because it'll make him feel so uncomfortable. Is that too much? I don't fucking know. Too nervous, huh? <laughs> Literally, he's gonna turn so red. All right, and I'm gonna do one more that's just gonna completely give it away that there's only one way that Mr. Fix could know all this, and that is because of his twin brother, Grayson. You know, I was surprised you were the one in a relationship because I feel like your brother is much smoother and less awkward and also better with the women. And that is where I'll come out and Ethan will know that his brother hung got him. <laughs> After I come out, I'm gonna have Mr. Fix ask, what is her name? All right, now I'm just gonna send these over. And my idea for okay. this was to have him in my car in the passenger seat. I'll run into to a store and I'll leave uh -huh. the windows rolled down. I'll take the keys in with me so he can't turn the, turn, turn the windows up. He just has to sit there and answer all the questions that you ask. He has no, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He can't roll the window up. He's just going to be stuck on camera with oh you asking these God. questions. 
That is gonna be hilarious. It'll be hilarious. Sick. He's gonna be so shook, like he might even get like mad. Okay, sick. Oh, so I'll, I'll send you an address and, and a time. It'll probably be like one or two tomorrow. All right, cool. I'll be I'll, I'll be in touch with you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Alrighty. All right, cool. All right, later. All right, later. Well, you guys heard it. Now it's execution time. Good morning. Well, it's morning here. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I gotta figure out a way to convince Ethan to come up to LA with me right now. So I'm gonna fake a phone call with our contractor who's working on our podcast studio and tell Ethan that he requested that we walk through the podcast studio one more time to finalize all the finishes. Because it's almost done. Podcast video coming soon. Okay, sorry I had a plug. So I'm gonna wake Ethan up right now. E! Ethan! Yo. We gotta go to LA because we have to do a walk through the podcast studio. And we also have to be there for the tree, guys. We also have to be there for the tree, guys. They're coming at 12.30. What time is it? Almost 10. So let's eat breakfast and go. So we can get out of bed now. Okay, so I'm outside our house. It's under construction right now, as you can tell by the bathtub in our driveway. Ethan's inside with our contractor going over the last walk through of the podcast studio because he said that he needs the final word even though I designed the entire thing by myself and while he's in there I stepped outside to order food in Hollywood that we're gonna pick up on the way back to our rental house but we're not gonna get any food he's just gonna get paparazzi my setup is going as planned I have our producer there who's gonna film from another angle and get everything unfolding mr. fix the paparazzi guy is all set he knows what's going on. Our producer, Ryan, is gonna hand him uh, an SD card so that we can have the footage because I don't know what he's gonna do with it because he's a paparazzi, so I wanna make sure that we have that. Um, probably just gonna leave everything in anyway. So subscribe for that because I'm exposing Ethan. And also turn on the notification bell. Um, subscribe for ex Exposed. All right, okay, I'm hiding the camera in the car. I'm gonna go inside and let Ethan know that the food is ready to get picked up. Even though it's not, he's just getting set up. Subscribe for setup. Did I say this? I think I said the subscribe enough. <laughs> Yo, Ethan, what is up, Yo. bro? What are you doing, man? How's just, it going? I'm just chilling, man. Just chilling. Yeah, you having a good day today? Uh, yeah, I am. Man, I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah. I've it's been, been a minute, man. I've just been in my house, just chilling. Dude, he's right there. Man, a lot of fans want to know a lot of stuff about you, man. Like, um, for number one, like, I heard you've been dating somebody. Like, who is she? Um, yeah, I have been dating someone. I did say that in uh, one of our recent videos. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, is it getting pretty serious? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's been pretty serious. Yeah. Okay, at this point we've all seen the uh, infamous photo. Is that uh, your hand that's squishing her cheeks? Uh, uh, I guess you did your research. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been floating around. Is that... <laughs> you look so uncomfortable. I, what? Uh, I, I, people, I guess people can uh, assume what they want about it. Okay, how's the whole uh, long distance thing going? I guess you really did your research. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just, you know, there's a lot of fan, fans are nosy. They find stuff out. Uh, what's going on October 12th? I heard you might be doing something special on the 12th. How do you, how do you know that? Man, I, I don't, it's just, man, the fans want to know. What? Who is that? My brother, I set him up with paparazzi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Why didn't you pop the question four years ago? <laughs> What do you mean four years ago? Were, were you too nervous? It, it, it's okay to be nervous. How long do I let it go on? There's nothing wrong with that. What's going on right now? You know, I was actually surprised to hear that you were the one in the relationship because I feel like your brother is much smoother and also a little less awkward. And um, he's kind of a little better and smoother with women. Like, what do you think about that? Is he, did he tell you something? No. No, 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 no. Dude, the fans want to know, man. What's they let me know right these now? things, no, bro. This is sucks. All right, I got I to break this up. It's getting too awkward. Bro, I, I, let, let, let me ask you this. One last question, man. I, I don't want to put you on the spot too much, but what's her name? Um, 
I gotta have some sort of privacy, you know, in my life. You know, I really value okay. privacy. Okay, so that, that's fine. Like Can we get like a first letter? Um, I think for now, no, not, not, not right now. Okay, okay, all right. Well, that's what's up, man. What? You, I knew there was something <laughs> sus. <laughs> Oh my god. What happened? Hollywood Fix got you? What? Oh my god. The Holy shit, dude. I have Bro. so much anxiety right now. <laughs> Your face is really Bro, red. It looks he like was shook. He was like seriously shook. Did you do all the questions on the list? Yes, yes. <laughs> the list? There's I a wrote list. the list. I, I knew. He was saying something about dates and specific oh, oh my god. Sus. And then the funniest thing was you took the keys out of the car so he like can't even roll the window up or anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We got him, man. We Thank got him. you. Oh, I appreciate it, that, brother. Man. Killed it. Oh, hey, what do you got to say about your brother pranking you, man? You f <laughs> <laughs> You deserved it. Bruh, holy shit, dude. I'm like, shit. Oh my god, dude. He started asking me questions about, like, your fucking questions about my personal, personal life. Did you tell him her name? No, dude. I gotta I watch said, his footage. I wanted back. to keep part of my life private because he started talking about my private life that I don't even think mom knows. So I was like, uh, okay, is my phone tapped? No, dude, you, just have, you just have a twin brother. You fucking asshole. <laughs> I was shitting my pants. I was way more awkward than you were in the last. Video. The reason that I did this to Ethan is because I knew that he was somewhat okay about it. We've had a conversation. We have podcast video coming out soon. Yeah, I had plans of probably talking about my relationship on a podcast deeper because I don't really like to hide things anymore. But I didn't plan to talk like that. All right, please subscribe for my awkwardness and because that just happened to me. And I'll feel good if you subscribe because right now I feel like... Shook to unshook me, please subscribe and like. The video. <laughs> uh, uh, and thumbs up for my master plan going exactly how I wanted it to. We'll see you guys in the next video when Ethan's face is a little less red. Yeah, I gotta drive.